Today's topic of discussion is going to revolve around Burberry fragrances. I have been a long-term fan of Burberry fragrances for a long time, starting with uh, one of the uh, f the perfumes that I'm going to mention today, and uh, finishing with some of the newer editions. I'm not entirely uh, convinced that all of them are gems, but there are some. There's some very, very good ones. More recent addition to their line. Now this is my Burberry. I don't have the uh, most recent one, the my Burberry Black, I think, or something like that, or Noir, because I did sniff it and it seemed a bit heavy for me. Whatever initially attracted me to the scent, I think has been a bit lost in the most recent flanker. So uh, I am sticking to my guns, saying that my Burberry original is the true, true gem. Uh, let's evaluate this bottle. Now we have a heavy square glass, we have gold uh, writing, we have a Burberry trench uh, bow. Uh, so bow made out of uh, Burberry material. And it says, uh, <laughs> woven in England. And the top, the cap of the fragrance is uh, a Burberry trench button. I guess what we're going, f what they're going for with the whole thing was uh, trying to sort of create a fragrance that will speak to their long-standing tradition of trench making. Uh, which I think actually worked out pretty well and unexpectedly interesting um, combinations were reached with this one. Now, about the fragrance. This is sweet, floral, and super sweet pea. So this fragrance to me is primarily a sweet pea fragrance with a strong vanilla. Uh, it's not sugar, it's, it's very sweet vanilla. There's something of a, a gourmand quality to it but it's not a gourmand fragrance. To me, it's a floral. It really, really is. Uh, the flowers are, uh, there's definitely a peony here. I sense definitely tons of sweet pea, that's the star. Um, there are other f florals, maybe there's a little bit of green, uh, green notes floating in the background, but it's not, um, it's not super prominent. The sweetness is, and it has a very beautiful musk on the dry down as well. There are some woods. So the fragrance is actually veering towards the more complex fragrances. Nowadays some of them contain one, two, five notes. Um, this one's definitely not that. This is, this is pretty complex. It does develop on skin. It does change. It has a personality. It has a, uh, it has very good staying power. It has sillage. It is a big winner in my book. It's a well-constructed, really well-made perfume, bravo! And of course, it's uh, Francis Kirkwood Of course it's gonna be well-made, he made the scent. He is a master of making these rain-drenched, wet scents. Uh, if you remember, previously I've talked about Roger Agallet, uh, Fleur de Figue, in one of my reviews, and it had this really wet quality to it, this one as well. It smells like it's a garden, after the rain, and it's not a garden like somebody's uh, uh, garden in a. It, it's not. It's not a place like in the countryside. It's really a city garden, maybe a botanical garden. Um, quite lovely, really. I have no complaints about this one. One I do have complaints about is Burberry body, and the idiot that I am, I have two of them. I have Burberry body body mist, and I have Burberry body gold limited edition. Um, they're very similar. This one is matte glass and a little bit uh, bigger. And this one is uh, transparent glass, like with a, with a bit of a gradient. The bottles I like, they resemble crystals. Um, there is gold writing again. There is really heavy crystal lid. Uh, the sprayer is very good. This is a rosy musk, heavy rose, heavy musk, and some woods. So I sense uh, lots of rose, lots of uh, very, very clean, sterile musk, and white wood. I don't sense sandalwood. 
I don't think it has anything to do with sandalwood. It smells like the wood your dad is woodworking with in the garage. This is uh, the kind of wood that is in here. Now, this fragrance is interesting because I have very, very mixed feeling, feelings with it. Um, why? Because I don't think this is special. I think this, my Burberry for instance, it has a soul. It has something very special, very different about it. I think they made this to sell. Um, and uh, this one doesn't have this, um, this one doesn't have the magic that uh, perfumes, in my opinion, are supposed to have. It doesn't have this special something, this thing that you can't get enough of and keep coming back for. Um, it's, it's, it's a pleasant office appropriate mu musky rose is what it is, really. Um, so I'm not really sure if this was worth the money. I'm kind of regretting buying it. I barely use it because it's uh, it's not one that I often want. It's very, very fresh, very clean, kind of soapy, um, very white musk, very clean musk. Um, there's nothing animalic, nothing sexual about it, nothing, um, nothing thought-provoking, really. It's a scent to smell fresh, is what it is. Same goes for the uh, the mist, but this is even more soapy. This is like pretty much pure soap. I spray this when I'm sweaty, basically, and feel like I need a shower, but I can't take a shower at the moment, but I'll spray this and then take a shower in half an hour. I'm not really sure uh, if that was worth it either. So mixed feelings on that. However, you will like it if you like simple, straightforward scents that you want to wear to smell fresh. You would like that one. Next one I love. Love. This is Burberry Brit. And this is very nostalgic for me because I used to wear it a long time ago. And I usually have a bottle in my arsenal. And I've had another parfum. This is another toilet. I don't have another parfum right now. Um, the bottle is nice and square. It's uh, pretty uh, streamlined with a Burberry check on it. Really can't fault the packaging I do think that they have very distinct packaging. This is green almonds to me with a bit of sweetness and maybe also almond flour and green almond nuts. Some nondescript fruit, a bit of uh, citrus as well, but not much. Really it's an almond, kind of almond sweet perfume, but sweetness is really, really, really toned down. It is absolutely not marzipan it's not almond paste it's not pastry shop it's not you know it's not it's not hypnotic poison it's not that kind of an almond it's a much greener fresher truer almond it's it it's recognizable in here um this scent is, works really well for fall for me i used up about a third of this bottle this is my third bottle i believe in total over the years so uh, i recommend you check this out i think it's interesting i think there's something to it i think uh, it has the potential to be included in a in a fragrance collection i think it's worth your attention next one that i'm not so sure about again and this is a uh, burberry touch now this guy looks unisex and it smells like it looks it has this nature vibe with the uh, really streamlined lines and uh, a plastic cap that is made to resemble wood. And I think that this is interesting because it is a unisex fresh scent without utilizing much of the fresh notes that usually go with fresh scents. Now, this one does have some flowers, but that's about it. It has nothing to do with... Uh, um, it has nothing to do with soap. It has nothing to do with ocean. It has nothing to do with that kind of a freshness. You know, it doesn't have. It doesn't smell anything like a uh, very clean floral. It doesn't smell anything like an aquatic perfume would, and it does not smell uh, particularly uh, like citrus at all. Although I do think there are some components in here that mix up interestingly to give a, a cool effect. I would say the star in this fragrance is a coconut, but not the kind of coconut that is uh, like a pina colada. It's not coconut nectar, it's not sweet coconut 
with sugar and it's not a cocktail coconut. It's really like a freshly picked coconut that's been drilled or sliced uh, in half. And you know, if you've had a fresh coconut, if you've been to the Caribbean, for instance, they're big on those. Uh, if you had a fresh coconut, you know that it's not a super, super sweet scent. This is not sweet. Just like a fresh coconut is not sweet. There's something woody, coconutty about it that is not sweet, not foody at all. It smells like um, you're in a straw hut at the beach on the Caribbean, uh, sipping on coconut water, but not from the, you know, from the can. You're drinking unsweetened coconut, straight up coconut water from half a coconut. It does have some florals, maybe some woodiness. Um, it creates this slightly wet sensation. It's uh, it's interesting. I think it's worth checking out and I think guys can really get away with that as well. Although it's a bit flowery, but I think the right guy would smell fantastic in this. However, I think that women, not all women would like this. It has uh, this quality, this unisex quality that is not conventional. This is not very conventional fragrance, but it's not like a niche, weird, interesting, master-made fragrance either. It's kind of like it's a, it's accessible, but it's not the usual sort of, uh, not the usual song. It's uh, something else. I'm not sure if I would buy this again once it runs out, but uh, I'm glad I had the experience. I thought it was interesting. <coughs> Lastly, uh, I have this guy. This is also not everybody's cup of tea. It is my cup of tea. It is Burberry Weekend. This is my third bottle in total. I've been a fan for years. This is pretty new. I used up 100 mils and then 50 mils and this is another 100 mils. This I love. It reminds me of uh, my childhood. Of uh, very simple city flowers that would be planted in flower beds next to apartment buildings and uh, it also smells a, bee, a bit like a uh, beehive, so a slightly, slightly waxy, but nothing powdery, nothing very waxy. Slightly waxy, slightly honeyed, uh, very floral. This is, I would, I would classify this guy as a floral for sure. Um, it smells happy. It smells like smiles and balloons and smells like a day at the park. And it smells like fun and light-hearted youthfulness to me. It's really nice. It's If you're a fan of sweet florals, you should really you know, see that you can try this. This has been released in the 90s, I, th I believe in 1990 initially, so that's why I've been familiar with it for so long, but it's not very popular right now. It's not trendy sort of scent that everybody's gonna go for, so this has real potential to be an interesting scent to wear. Happy, smiley, floral, really. That's all you get here. And it just makes me feel nostalgic and brings a smile to my face. It's one of my happy f uh, floral perfumes. I have more happy perfumes and maybe I'll do a separate video on perfumes that I wear to lift my spirits. Um, but that's definitely one of them. This is a very special sort of guy for me. I think it's, uh, it's worth a sniff if you're into those kinds of scents. Last perfume I'd like to mention is the one I don't have on me, and it is a Burberry Woman, so original Burberry. It is so fun. I really love the scent. I've used two bottles of it previously. Right now I'm out of it. Um, I have scents that are, that are quite similar. <coughs> <coughs> I have scents that are quite similar to it at the moment. That's why I don't have it on hand, but I'll definitely go back to it again because I, that's what I do. I go back to that particular scent. It is a wonderful, wonderful powdery peach with uh, woodsy and sweet notes. Uh, there is am a bit of amber in the base. There is uh, there's some definite woodsiness going on. There are some florals that don't play a very huge role in the fragrance. And there is a beautiful, beautiful dry peach. Um, peach that is related to the peach that is in Trésor, which I also adore. So, a Burberry Woman, I really encourage you to go sniff. It's a bit musky. Uh, so, if you are a fan of peachy, musky, powdery scents, then you should try You should try to seek out Burberry Woman because it's, it's really a worthwhile classic. And if you're a fan of powdery scents, it's, it's, a, it's a little gem because it's a fruity, powdery. 
Um, that's it for today. Uh, we finished our conversation about Burberry's uh, that I have on hand and one that I don't at the moment, but usually I do. Let me know if uh, there are any Burberry perfumes that you love and why. I, I want to know what's up. <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Bye-bye.